So Pro Football Focus ranked the top 32 cornerbacks, um, and, and a couple of the Browns are in that ranking. So Denzel Ward, 14. Ward coming off subpar season for the Browns. Uh, the defense as a whole collapsed, likely uh, heavily contributed to that uh, with a rebuilt Browns defensive line in 2023. Ward might put himself back amongst the very best. Also in those uh, top 32, Greg Newsom checks in at 27. Newsom quietly backed up an impressive rookie season with another good campaign, but has still yet to register an interception in the NFL. 14 pass breakups over that time allowed just 9.8 yards per reception in 2022. Again, I, I, I keep harping on this, and I hate to be a broken record, and I'm not trying to beat up Joe Wood. I think he asked Denzel Ward and Greg Newsom to do a couple of things that weren't the best things they do, and I think that's what Jim Schwartz is going to do. Put guys in positions to succeed better. I agree to 100%, and this is also where I do think the units working together helps a ton because when you have a defensive secondary that you want to play more press man principles, play up at the line and bump and run coverage, even if it's not a true you know, man snap, you just, you're not playing soft and off, you better have a pass rush. Otherwise, those guys are going to get picked on. They're going to try to jump some routes occasionally, and there could be double moves and things of that nature. If the offense knows they have more time and they can wait a little bit, as long as Miles Garrett is chipped and doubled and whatever, then they can wait a little bit to let a play develop. There's, I don't care if you have you know, five Deion Sanders back there. If the offense has three seconds to get the ball off, they're going to complete a whole lot of passes. So I agree that we put in a more advantageous position, but I also think they'll recognize – we can do what we want to do with these guys from a stylistic standpoint, only if we're generating pressure, and that is what Schwartz's bread and butter has always been.